there are some basic risk factors. Let's show them to you and uh, walk you through them. Uh, gender, that's a, that's a big one. Age. Correct. So in advancing age, the cancer risk goes higher. Okay. Inheriting uh, certain genes? Like from BRCA. The uh, BRCA. Yeah, exactly. That's the BRCA. Okay. Yeah. Race? Race Correct. is one? Correct. So, well, Caucasian women get affected with breast cancer more often. However, African American women experience more severe or aggressive type of cancer, unfortunately. All right. Family history is always up there. Uh, personal history, dense breast tissue. That's me. Uh, when mm -hmm. I go to get a mammogram, I always get that look from uh, the individual who's doing it, and it's this face of, oh my gosh. Yeah. But they're extremely, extremely, extremely dense. Yeah. And, uh, well, the good news is, you know, they're still perky. I guess I could say that, right? That's the good news. So they're yeah. still perky. But uh, the bad news is what? So dense breast tissue or women who have dense breast have a um, higher rate of uh, cancers, some studies have proven. In addition to that, they are harder to diagnose given right. the fact that they are so dense. So based only based on a 2D mammogram, sometimes it's really hard to see through. So we have tomosynthesis, which is great for dense breast tissue, which helps us see through it. In addition, we use uh, breast, breast ultrasound, mm -hmm. which is a great screening tool if we, we need to find if any um, uh, masses or any findings which are not easily sometimes seen in the mammogram only. Exactly. In dense breasts. So if you have dense breasts like me, get that ultrasound and that's what I usually follow up with. Atypical breast lesions, early menstruation and late menopause. We have a few more. Uh, drinking alcohol, being overweight or obese. I was surprised about that one. Physical activity? Correct. So if you, um, studies have proven if you work out one, uh, four to seven hours a week, that decreases your risk, uh, your risk of breast cancer. Okay, fantastic. Having children, birth Correct. control, mm -hmm. hormone therapy after menopause that we've heard of so much where so many people don't know whether they want to take that or not. Breastfeeding. Now that one I have to ask you about. Sure. So breastfeeding as actually is protective against breast cancer. So the more you breastfeed, especially if it's longer than one year, uh, it offers protective mechanism because your breasts are not exposed to the regular hormones which a woman would be exposed in her lifetime.